Hi, it's Paul from Outernetwork.com. I've always wanted to have this background when I prepare one of my videos and today is the most appropriate time ever to use it. There's big breaking news if you're studying Cisco certifications. This particular video will be about the CCNA, although it looks like they are all changing in a very big way. But I've only got time today to talk about the CCNA. So um, without further ado, I'll just go I'll just say hello actually, I always do this. I used to work at Cisco, I've been teaching IT since 2002 and actually running a consultancy and these are some of my books if you fancy perusing them, they're all on Amazon. But I'm going to jump ahead because I've got a fair bit to cover. Here's some of my websites if, you've, uh, if you're free to have a look on the internet, howtonetwork.com, uh, IT certification, 101labs.net which covers practical training for IT certifications and in 60 dayscom which is the 60 days to CCNA program which is pretty um, good news actually because I'm talking about the CCNA we have been waiting um, every day for most of the year for uh, news about the new CCNA and the date is has always been since they launched it August so uh, what is it the last day is usually the 31st so that's when you normally finish the current iteration of the CCNA and the new one starts or generally speaking you'll have a crossover period so the new exam will start somewhere around here and you've got um, maybe just a few months uh, two to three months to uh, take the old exam or if you want to take the new exam which um, lasts for three years well, Cisco have new announced, have announced, which I'm sure you can go to the Cisco Learning Network and get more information for yourself. But um, it's a really big change and more than um, has ever happened before, actually. Loads of stuff being added, loads of stuff being uh, removed. And there's a, a new format, if you like, which I'll go into in a bit and some big changes. So um, this news is just broken. So please, uh, there's a subscribe button, but also after you hit that, there's a little bell. Oh, that's the worst bell ever, sorry. There's a bell you can um, hit and um, you'll get updates as and when I find out. Oh, there you go, there's a nice little bell. So uh, all the below CCNAs are being retired. So this is kind of bad news for um, for those of you that wanted to do the specialisations or have the specialised specialisations because they all retire. So all of these are uh, being removed. This is um, probably one of the biggest changes: the design certification. This has been um, what is it? The CC, DA, the CC. DP. Now the CC um, design expert, I'm not sure about yet. I haven't looked into that because the news is just broken. So what used to happen is you do the CCNA or at very least the um, ICND1 or which is the CCENT, the Citra, Cisco Certified Entry Network Technician. You would do that. That would go in the bottom of your pyramid of expertise so you would go here and then you would if you want to do the CCNA and then you'd specialize in cloud collaboration data center etc even CCDA you needed the ICND1 these are all going so if you're studying don't worry you've got plenty of time you've got till 2020 uh, Feb to pass these after that these are all retiring and being uh, replaced by the uh, CCNA just the CCNA exam so and uh, now if i were you it's just a little tip if you pass say the ccna security i would keep this on my resume uh, for the future only because it's been retired so it's not fair to say um to tell you to remove it so you could say ccna security if you get interviewed say yeah i passed it and then it's obviously retired so uh, and also the wireless the wireless in fact is a huge part of the new ccna exam Security is a big part also, design is in there, and then the others are, I'll come to as appropriate. So uh, this is the, um, hopefully I've got an eraser here somewhere. It's uh, implementing and administering, uh, administering Cisco uh, solutions, but it's still called the CCNA. But the long title is Implementing and Administrating Cisco Solutions, which actually isn't short for CCNA, but this is what they've decided to call it. 
So let's go through the current CCNA versus the old. You could take one or two exams, which is really handy for most of us. Each exam 120 minutes. Questions and hands-on labs, configuration or troubleshooting. Passmark, Cisco don't advertise, so this is just an, uh, an estimation based upon all of the passmarks I've, um, I've had and, and my students have told me about. You see it on your score report. Last day to test, make a note in your diary, 23rd of Feb. So you've still got quite a long time, so panic, but don't panic too much. New CCNA, one exam only. The code, very important if you're booking it, 200301. You can't book it yet, mind you. Still 120 minutes, still a mixture of questions and labs. Pass mark approximately the same. Cisco have not verified this, so this is my opinion, and that's subject to change. First day to test, 24th of Feb. So we've got lots of time yet. Now, Cisco have got some weird stuff going on. CCNA, the, um, the new version, they're calling it 2.0. Uh, the current version is actually normally referred to as 3.0, the third major change, so that there's been more than three versions. So this is from their website, and they say 2.0. From the syllabus, they're calling it version 1.0. So something a bit weird is going on here. I'm sure they'll fix it in due course. Um, this has been a huge change, I know, for Cisco, and they've made a lot of um, fuss about this. So what's gone? ERGRP is a massive change. This was a, a big cornerstone of their syllabus, and obviously it's a huge, hugely important routing protocol, but they've had to make room for new stuff, and some of the stuff has, has had to go. BGP, this was actually added in the uh, last version. So when would that have been? What is it now? 2019, so was it 2016, the last version? So that was added, and we've all had to learn this, and now it's gone. Well, as I say gone, it's actually going. Excuse me, we'll have a drink. So, RIP was just brought in again, 2016. Gone, gone, gone. OSPF version 3, we all went to great pains to learn this. Gone. Most WAM topics, all you need to know about is your topology options, which will take you about um, three minutes to... Um, to learn these they're covered in most books so how, how the topologies look there is not a single mention of troubleshooting anywhere in the syllabus again um, I'm guessing it's because they just don't have the room so they're asking you to verify configure various things but there isn't a mention bear in mind uh, I'll tell you in a bit but Cisco reserved the right to add what they want in the actual exam with no notice these are the main groupings for all of the exam topics so obviously under each of these, you'll have all of the main uh, headings and then under them you'll have other options. Some of them will have one, some of them will have two, some of them will have multiples. So um, you can get the syllabus from the Cisco website. Uh, autom automation and programmability is obviously a huge one that a lot of us have been expecting and I'll come to that in a bit. And many of the others will still look familiar to um, to us. So. I won't, um, I'm not going to cover the whole syllabus because you can actually download that for free from Cisco if you Google Cisco CCNA yourself. Uh, just bear in mind uh, for the, all the various topics they're talking about um, describing, verify, could be hands on. So I'll put HO, you could have a lab having have to verify stuff. Obviously, configuring is hands on. Compare. That sounds like theory only, describe theory only, explain theory only, interpret, probably theory only, determine, that could be anything really. So each subject has got whatever, explain NAT, interpret NAT, configure NAT. And NAT is actually one of the configuration ones. This is huge. Wireless security is a big cornerstone now of the um, requirements. So a huge part of your learning um, pyramid here for the CCNA is wireless. The theory, security and configuration, they are saying using the GUI. So uh, I'm not sure whether that would be um, sufficient for Packet Tracer. When I find out, I will let you know through a video. Client operating systems for Windows. This again is huge. Many of us use Windows. Some of us are Linux users, even less Mac. You're going to have to know 
uh, some client settings for all three and I gave everyone a heads up certainly about Linux I wasn't expecting uh, Mac OS so this is new network automation is uh, obviously sweeping through the IT industry at the moment we need to know about it as network engineers Cisco DNA center management I'll talk about that in another video but Cisco um, explained that in many of their sales materials and on their websites rest based APIs APIs were actually in the current um, exam and there was probably only one vague question about uh, APIs but um, now it's uh, another part of the syllabus uh, configuration management tools for servers um, puppet chef ansible so this is all going to be brand new stuff most of us have to learn and uh, I think I actually cover some of this in a DevOps course we have on how to network.com for be complete beginners but we're going to need to know a bit about this doubt very much whether you're going to need to be expert level but just have a, a knowledge the other thing is um, interpret JSON encoded data so this is uh, in a format that people can read rather than um, coders or, or coding experts so we're going to need to learn about this so these obviously there's some huge changes and it's going to be a big paradigm shift for many of us who um, who didn't need to know this stuff and probably weren't interested please remember you can pause the video this is a uh, general guidelines for the content other topics may appear Cisco to warn you this um, I could change at any time without notice I only say this because I get these emails sometimes from people who take the exam saying ah oh, but you didn't cover whatever and um, all I can do is basically tell you what's in the syllabus uh, I look through all the other materials also and I get feedback from my students and then I can make updates as and when and I generally add these to the errata page on the um, website or if you've got a book or whatever of mine that's how I can do it the best but sometimes they will add a question and it isn't marked they're just testing to see how people do with the question so um, that's all I'm really going to tell you for now I've got a couple of other bits to mention if you want to I strongly recommend you pass the current CCNA and I strongly recommend you pass it 2019 so do it before the end of December and then you've got all of 20 um 20 so how long would this last 20 21 it wouldn't be until 2022 you would have to consider doing the new ccna by which time you'll have had three years to learn all of this new stuff without the pressure so if you do it now um no pressure to learn all the new stuff that is you can do it um, and then you can learn this all of this in your own time and then obviously if you want to recertify you can do so in uh, three years time so come to uh, howtonetwork.com there's an offer at the very uh, last slide where you can come and uh, study any of our courses but I'm talking about CCNA here we've got live Cisco racks as well if you go to this uh, click here there's live racks and we've got tons of exams and stuff under the members menu so uh, yeah there's the offer have a look at the website but please go to this special url howtonetwork.com forward slash youtube and you'll get access to our ccna course um, and 25 of the courses plus a lot of coaching on how to uh, remember stuff and perform well in the exam uh, live, live uh, cisco racks ex expert support on the forum and career training please also remember to hit the bell and I'll send you all the updates as and when I hear from um, various people I know inside the industry. All right, thanks for listening and I will see you on the next video.